All right, today we are going to talk about angles and how they relate to a clock. Uh, now, one thing I want to go over is that a circle is 360 degrees, which means that, um, you know, a straight line is 180 degrees and a full circle is 360. So if you think about um, like a basketball player uh, doing like a 360 dunk, that means that they go in a full circle, right? They spin around one time and then come right back facing the same way they were. So that's 360 degrees. So this circle is 360 degrees. And it is divided, a clock is divided into 12 sections, right? Because there are 12 numbers on the clock, 1 through 12. So it's divided into 12 sections. So if I um, were to split up a clock, if I were to split up 360 degrees into 12, right? 360 divided by 12, I know that 36 divided by 12 is 3, so 360 divided by 12 is 30. So that means that between each of these numbers is 30 degrees, right? So this right here is 30 degrees. Okay? So and between the 12 and 1 is 30. Between the 1 and 2 is 30. These are all 30 degrees, right? Every single one of these. Now, I'm not drawing them perfectly uh, with my crayon marker here, but every single one of these is 30 degrees, which means... Um, let's see, 30. Okay, so that means that if one of these is 30, then if I were to go from, if I were to go and try to figure out, let's see, if I were to try to figure out what 12 and 2, the angle between 12 and 2 would be, I would just have to add 30 from 12 and 1, and then another 30 from 1 and 2. So this would be 60. I apologize for the uh, the poor handwriting. Uh, but so this is 60. Now, if I wanted to figure out what 12, or I'm sorry, the angle between 2 and 4 would be, it would also be 60, because I know that between 2 and 3 is 30, between any two numbers is 30, okay? So, uh, this would be 60. Now, if I wanted to find a right angle, all I would have to do is... Um, find, just go between three numbers. So I know that 8 and 5, it would be 30, 30, and then 30. So this would be a 90 degree angle, right? Typically, when they, when you show a 90 degree angle, it'll be something like this, or like this, or like this. Okay, so these are all 90 degree angles because they each have three numbers between them. So really, when you're thinking about angles on a clock, the biggest thing, the easiest way to think about it is between any, uh, any two numbers that are next to each other, there's always 30 degrees. So if you're wondering what the angle is between this, between the 12 and the 5, well, all I have to do is figure out how many numbers there are between them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then multiply that by 30. 
So I know 5 times 30 is 150. Okay? So the easiest way to think about it is just um, doing 30 degrees between um, each number. Okay? And then you just add them up. So it's it's quite simple if you know that trick and know how to multiply by 30, which is basically multiplying by 3 and then adding a 0.